Hello people of the internet, I'm the Gaming Lemon, how you all doing? I hope you're all doing swell as I am, because it is Friday today, whoop whoop, I hope you're all enjoying the start of your weekend, sitting there with a cup of tea, or whatever you guys do, I know Americans don't like tea, well if you do like tea that's fine, <laughs> it's just that, uh, well, you know, British people are stereotyped for being tea, drinking tea, anyway, I'm, get I'm getting carried away already. Already, yeah, already. See, my tongue's all over the place in the moment. That's what she said. Anyway, this is a serious topic I wanted to talk about today, and that topic is, as you can probably tell from the title and the thumbnail on the video, is how Call of Duty, the franchise, famous franchise, multi-billion franchise, million, uh, Call of Duty is dying. Now, I am really sad to say, like, really upset to say this, but it is true, and I hope you guys agree with me. Now, be before any of you um say anything, this is my personal opinion only. Some of your opinions might be the same, but this is just my opinion. Yours might be different, that's fine. Uh, there's no need to say that I'm wrong or anything, this is just what I think, and what I think should be done to the game. Now, in my opinion... Uh, Call of Duty cannot fix itself now. I think it, they've milked it too much. The person milking the cow in this case, Infinity War and Treyarch, uh, if we could start milking the cow and they see, they see that the milk, it was really good milk. So they go, oh, you know, we could get some really good milk out of this cow. So they kept milking it and milking it and milking it until the cow died. And now that the cow is dead, uh, Treyarch and Infinity War have got a lot of good milk out of it and they go, huh. Well, you might as well move on to another account and do the same thing. <laughs> so, basically I'm saying, they'll finish this franchise, Call of Duty, but make another franchise somewhat similar to it, and then get some milk it again, like they did with Tony Hawk. Like, what Activision did with Tony Hawk, Guitar Hero. And there was one more, I can't remember. Probably this, but, um... Yeah, anyway. So, um, I started playing Call of Duty when Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare came out. The... Uh, Modern Warfare, yeah, Modern Warfare 1, and I must have played that game a, around a month later until it came out. I first had to go on it around my friend's house and I thought it was amazing, and the only reason I bought an Xbox was to get Quad 4, and to get Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto is also my favourite franchise, I'm so, really excited for GTA. Anyway, I'm getting carried away again, I can't even remember what I was talking about. Oh yeah. And what Call of what made Call of Duty such a good game is it was so it wasn't that balanced, but it was so it was so different to every game that was out there at the time. It wasn't it wasn't something that you you would get bored of really quickly because it was something new. Like back back then, um, there were more World War Two games and not as much FPSs because they didn't think they would uh, make a lot of money doing it in a modern perspective. Like, what I think nowadays is, because there's loads of modern FPSs or third person shooters, it's because of Call of Duty, they see how well it gains money from it, so they want to do the same. It's it's a business move, it's, it's, it's what they do, they kind of see their idea and they go, oh, thank you very much, I'll take that. But, um, m nine times out of ten, it doesn't work. Uh, but ba Battlefield was before Call of Duty, but anyway, that, that's that's besides the point. So uh, when Call of Duty 4 came that uh, came out, it took a long, long time before it started to die out. Actually, it still hasn't died out because loads of people are still playing it. Um, I think I think some of my friends are still playing it yesterday. I I'm most certainly not bored of it still. I will be playing it now. It's get to my disc is broken and I'll have to download it again from the game marketplace. And when COD 5 came out, Call of Duty 5. This is just my opinion. I know this might annoy some of you because some of you thought it was the best COD. I thought it was the worst COD. Um, I got to rank 10, I think, and then left it. Left it for the whole year, went back to COD 4, and kept playing that until Modern Warfare 2 came out. And COD 5 died around just after um, Modern Warfare 2 came out. Just, I think, I th I, that's my personal opinion, because I haven't seen anyone um, play that game. And when Modern Warfare 2 came out, everyone loved it. You know, everyone loved it as soon, like, as, soon as it came out then. About a month later, people started finding the overpowered stuff. Now, we never had this problem in COD 4 or COD 5. Well, maybe in COD 5. I didn't play as much uh, to know about um, any of the overpowered stuff. But in COD 4, we only had, like, the only powered stuff, I think, was Juggernaut and M16, maybe, a bit. And there was another thing, Juggernaut. 
uh, Lost Town wasn't overpowered, but because not a lot of people used it, because there was a lot of bet. I don't know why not a lot of people use it. This, I don't know. There's, there's not many people using a uh, final, not the final stand, last stand. And that, uh, after about four six months, uh, it died down, and then everyone said, "Okay, that, uh, Call of Duty's had enough now. I think we should stop." Uh, or, or you know, maybe one more. Uh, maybe one more should do it. I mean, you, you know, uh, the, the past two, or in my opinion, the past two haven't been very good. It needs to be a good one. So basically, it died out after six months. Then when Black Ops came out, after about say a month, two months, people hated it. Uh, I played it for about three months and then hated it. Some people I know played it for a week and hated it. Uh, it was, sounds a bit weird, but probably because it was too balanced, which made it really boring. Um, that's that's. I thought that was the main problem. Uh, Black Ops. It was too balanced. There was nothing good or bad to use except for the AK seventy four U and the FAMAS. I think the Galil wasn't overpowered. It was just good. So. Uh, what I think is, if a gun is good, it doesn't mean it's overpowered. It's just, it's just a good gun. So you're saying like all good guns at the moment are overpowered, because that's kind of the case at the moment. Uh, it never used to be like that. Overpowered uh, really used to be really overpowered, almost game breaking, like the Model 8 and the 87. And now, basically, I think any gun that's not a really bad gun is considered overpowered. It's just, it's just stupid. Anyway. And now, when Modern Warfare 3 came out, in about a week, uh, for me, I hated it after a week. When it came out, it was good, but then, you know, got bored of it really quickly. Because it's not... This is this is the reasons why it's dying, and this is why people get bored of it so quickly now, in my opinion, of course. Because uh, they need to put more time into it. You can't rush a, a game every year. Of all these terrible outcomes, I mean, the game testers must be awful. They just play it for the heck of it. They must not test any bugs or glitches or overpowered stuff because when it comes out, we get all this stuff, especially on the PS3. I heard that the PS3 was unplayable lag, and apparently they knew this at launch. How lazy is that? I mean, they rush it because they just want money. They're so greedy. Uh, you know, this is this is still what I think, but I. This is what other people think too, like the majority of people, they rush it because they, they want money. They, I think they should do two to four years, like Battlefield does. They do about like four years of, like two to four years for release. And the, like if you would look back at Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2, there's such a massive difference in the graphics. And in Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2, there's nothing different. In fact, they didn't change the engine at all. They left the engine, that's... Uh, I don't know. The campaign was brilliant. Don't get me wrong, the campaigns in Call of Duty are always brilliant. It's just that they don't do anything new either. They need to put more time into it, at least two to four years. Because so, like, they, 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 do, they don't look the same. They don't see, it, like, a tiny little bit of progress. Like, right now, I think they've ran out of ideas, seriously. I mean, what what is really new in Modern Warfare 3 to Modern Warfare 2, what is actually really new? The only thing I can really think of is p Prestige Shop. Um, more guns, perks, maps. That's all I can really think of. I can't think of anything that's really that new. I mean, Prestige Shop isn't, isn't even that new. They didn't add anything like the wow factor. Like, the reason why COD 4 was such a big success, look at Co Call of Duty 4 to Call of Duty 2 and look at the difference. There were no perks in Call of Duty 2. I haven't played it that much, so if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, someone will correct me. Uh, there were not a lot of guns and not a lot of maps and the graphics were awful. Well, not awful, but you know, they're not updated to where it's where they were now. That's why. It's, that's what I think Call of Duty 4 was such a big success. It, there was nothing like it, it was so much different to the other ones. And in this, there's nothing new. They've really run out of ideas. They've milked it too much. There's overpowered weapons like the T95, the Striker. Okay, I guess they've down the Striker, but the Akimbo machine guns, not just the FMG9s now. The Scorpions, the MP9s, uh, the perks, Assassin. Take Assassin out of the game, or at least put it into another tier because everyone uses it. It's it's just so annoying. Because when you see the UAV, it's, it's pointless because half the people have got Assassin on, so you still don't feel safe running out into the battlefield when there's no one there that says on the map. Death Shrieks, Final Stand is still in it. Marty Dom is still here, in it. That's the most hate they got from Call of Duty 4, and they still have it in. And in Black Ops, that was the worst thing, and they still have it in. I mean, de 
Death Streaks is encouraging noobs to like not play as good because he gets they want the Death Streak. I mean, Dead Man's Hand. They they must have knew. They must have knew that that was going to annoy people. It's stupid. And the spawns as well. They're still awful as hell. They always say, "Oh yeah, we fixed it now. Yeah, it's all good." Go on. If if anything, they're worse than what they were before. They're, 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 they're so lazy. Oh, I'm just getting really angry now. It's like. I think Black Ops 2 is Call of Duty's last chance. Last chance, or whatever it's gonna be called, or I don't know, Iron Wolf. No, it's, they, then they uh, announce what it's, it's not gonna be Iron Wolf. Call of Duty Future Warfare. So Black Ops 2 is Call of Duty's last chance. See what I did there? Last chance. And it's funny because I think that's what it's gonna be called because that was the main thing in Black Ops. They're not gonna remove it from there. Call of Duty never listened to the community, and I think I've uh, gone a minute over gameplay, which I'm sorry. So, I should, I should have said a lot more, really. Uh, I might make a part two to this uh, if I feel like it. But um, there will be Sims Pets tomorrow. This has been the Game Eleven. If you enjoyed uh, this commentary or if you agree with me or anything, leave a like. If you disagree, leave me a comment telling why. What do you think uh, should be fixed from the game? Do you think Call of Duty is fine as it is? Do you think it needs to be improved? Or do you think it's just dead? They can't improve it at all. They've done too much and they can't do anything. So um, thanks a lot for viewing and I'll see you next time. Lemon out.